Welcome to the armory. Here we are. I'm going to give you a little tip tonight about uh, how to save your hand from getting cut and scratched up. While I do that, we'll have a little chat. Um, for instance, when the Normans landed on the south coast of England, the first troops to go ashore were the archers, and they formed a periphery, and then the rest of the army came ashore. That's how important the bow was, that the archers went ashore first. And also, when King Hadrada invaded, he was killed by an arrow to the throat, and then they just diced him up. But an arrow to the throat. Later on, King Harold was severely wounded in the eye by an arrow that the Normans had shot over the ranks. Because house carols gathered around him, but the Normans rushed in, and that was that. And I'll tell you something, those Normans, they could play football pretty good. Some of the tools that we had back then were, and I made these arrows, but uh, a typical slice them, dice them. A guy like this is more for cutting up a, a horse. And uh, these arrows, uh, I made them out of cedar. Um, uh, they're half an inch, they're half an inch here, I'm going down to three-eighths of an inch here, and you'll notice on the knock that uh, there's a white support in here. Well, that's actually uh, dog bone because I didn't have any horn at the time, but uh, that's the shape of them. And this one I call the butterfly, and it's basically for cutting up sails more than anything else, but it's your typical war arrow. Uh, this is a very simple fire arrow. It's simply a bodkin, basically, a long bodkin that's been split so that some cloth wool can be put in there, some pitch, and uh, fired at a castle. Uh, an interesting thing about uh, fire and castles was when King Hadrada was uh, fighting for the Turks and he was in Sicily as a young man, he attacked a castle and they couldn't get into the castle. And uh, so they besieged it and he sat there for about a, a month and looked at it. And he saw that little sparrows were flying back and forth, little birds flying back and forth. In the evening, they would fly into the castle and perch in the roof. In the morning, they would fly out. So he got his men to catch them, and they tied little twigs with tar onto them and let them go. And they flew in the nighttime. They flew into the castle. They went home. They caught all the roofs on fire. And King Hadrada was a pretty smart guy, except for getting whacked in the neck with an arrow. Uh, he was in at least 18 or 20 battles, so finally it caught up to him. And this here is your typical short bodkin. And it's short like that, like a, a, a chisel, so that it will chop into a, a piece of plate. Anyhow, that's a little bit on some arrows. Now, this is what uh, we're going to talk about now. Uh, this is one of my own arrows, and uh, it's quite smooth down here at the end where it goes over your hand and that's what you want because here's a glove that I used uh, a few years ago you can see it's very badly worn I used it a lot but anyhow see this feather sticking into it the feather comes right through onto this side that never touched me that feather never touched me but if that had gone in my finger I'd been in big trouble so I do use a glove and what we do is 
take a new arrow and if you look you'll see that this one is very sharp okay now that's going to cut up your hand so what we're going to do is just take a regular piece of sandpaper and we'll get the really nasty one first okay this guy here now what we're going to do so you can see is there's a little notch there we're just going to take our sandpaper roll the arrow back and forth just there I cannot feel any sharpness whatsoever in that spot that's all I had to do now what I do then there's a smooth one there it is okay so what I do then is take a little drop of my glue and I just put a little drop of glue there okay now that will dry in about 20 minutes and uh, I won't cut my hand so get yourself a glove get a little bit of sandpaper sand that down smooth and you'll find that that will help you out quite a bit uh, so this movie's going on but uh, I'm gonna tell you a couple little stories also little bedtime stories okay so uh, you know think about a bow like this if we take a bow and it was just hanging up in the sky and the arrow came back and let go all those arrows would go to the same place a human never shoots to the same place the reason is we interfere with the bow it wants to shoot straight but we'll shake with our left hand the arrow can't do that and hit the target the biggest offender though is our right arm we use muscles you cannot use any muscles if you are holding that string you're not hitting things it's got to be relaxed I can't emphasize that enough no muscles it's the hands that interfere with the bow those are the only parts that touch it so get relaxed as I've said so many times and don't twist things now that's one little thing uh, another little story that I'll tell you is the story of two little boys now two little boys we've all seen two little boys pulling on a towel and one lets go and the other falls down right we've all seen that one lets go and the other falls down now when we're shooting a bow this is one little boy and this is another little boy pulling on a bow just like pulling on a towel and when one lets go the other falls down we have to realize that and there's nothing wrong with that as a matter of fact, I'm going to make a movie on how uh, uh, Catra is used with an English longbow. Most people don't think it is, but it is. Because if you're pushing hard enough, when, you let, when this little boy lets go, the right hand will go right and down. Which is the exact, and that's because the arrow is on the left side. If it was on the right side and you're pushing really hard, it will go to the left. That's the way the Turkish do Katra. The way the English do Katra is like this. <laughs> okay? I'll make a movie about it. Anyhow, um, um, I guess that's enough for now, eh? Uh, we've covered a, a few uh, uh, subjects. Anyhow, uh, think about a little bit of sandpaper. Just nick off that burr at the front of the arrow. Put a little drop of glue there and it will save your hand. And then you will be happy when you go out and shoot those bows off your hand. Anyhow, have fun you guys. Take care.